Hi, my name is Catherine Roseland here with Board Game Geek TV at Spiel 2013. I'm sitting here with Ignacy Trebochek and Hello. Michiel Hendricks uh, from Portal Games, and we're here to talk about their newest game, Legacy. But it's not Portal it Games, is it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, God, I was worried there for a second. Oh, it <laughs> is. Sorry. It is, it is. Okay, so please tell me a little about Legacy, the testament of Duke de Cressy. All right. Um, Legacy is a very uh, exciting family building game, you could call it, where you um, are noblemen and noble women in 18th century uh, France, and you um, try to build a lasting legacy, a family legacy. So it's played out over three uh, generations, and what you're expected to do is to um, to befriend the most powerful, most uh, famous families uh, in, the, in the in the country, in the city, Paris, France, and uh, have them marry into your family so that their uh, family fame becomes part of your family fame. Exactly. But um, it's not only about fame; it's also about wealth, it's about influence, it's about power, and about connections. So ultimately, the game uh, revolves around becoming the most famous family in France. But you will need a lot of things for this. Yeah. Uh, you will need connections. If you have no friends, you're not actually going to get anywhere. No, exactly. If you have no money, you're not going to be able to get the feasts or, or buy titles or uh, visit the mail or so donate need a, a to the church. a good balance to make you sure. You need a very good balance of, of those three things. That's correct. Yes. All right. So um, it's a worker placement. Uh, I think we show it like this. Yeah. There is a, uh, a player board where you have uh, four actions that are not blockable. So every player board will look the same, except for the color. And uh, there, uh, people will marry, they'll have children, um, but they'll also be able to do things like ask friends for money, socialize. And everything revolves in the game about um, theme and about making sure it's logical and making sure it works out. So for example, if you ask friends for money, you ask your friends for money and these are these noble aristocrats in the literary salons of the time and they say sure here's two gold but if you ask for a little more they'll talk about you oh and, uh, did you hear you're, so you exactly did you hear about that guy he's all oh, about money he's, i yeah. gave him some money and he just wants enough. more exactly so you also have um <coughs> friends befriended families and they have eligible candidates for marriage. Ah. Uh, the pink are the women and the, the men are brown and um, they also work as a, as a kind of resource because you can lose them. Uh, you can get married to these people but as you can see here for Ask Friends for Money, if you ask for too much, even one of these friends of yours, befriended families, ah, will say, well my daughter like is no longer available to marry into your family. So You're too greedy. You're too greedy. So everything in the game uh, revolves around making sure it works out thematically and logically and that the mechanics and the theme correspond. All right, so here we have the, uh, the family tree. This is what it will yeah. look, look like. Um, this will be the uh, second generation. So in the first generation, you play with um, your matriarch or... That here, you can... Major, this is the patriarch. So you can choose whether you're a man, you can choose a man or, or you're a woman. woman. Yeah, maybe I might, I might just show these two as well as an example. These are the two men and women you can marry. And men and women are different. So just to give an example, this will be a good uh, man. Men give income mm -hmm. and prestige, which is a kind of fame income. Uh, whereas women give you uh, fame income, in this case she is infamous, so you actually lose fame. Oh. Um, but they give you connections, so it is a very uh, clear distinction between men and women. So you and need what the roles were in that. What, exactly, it, it fits the, the roles of the people at the time. Just wait for a second. And, and they're both equally important. So if you have, for example, a son from this family, um, in this generation, you'd have two sons. This would mean that you would marry women. Yes. And women are great because they give you connections. More connections. Yes. But you might also require income. So making sure that in each generation you have some boys and girls who will grow up. I'll just show that here. So this is a young boy and he will grow up to become 
an now. adult man in the second generation or in the next generation, yeah. anyway. And then they're eligible for marriage, for titles, for contributions, uh, building mansions, all the exci uh, doing exciting, fun missions, all the exciting and fun things that uh, will help uh, ascertain this level of fame that you're looking for. Very interesting. All right. Um, there's a lot to tell. I, I could maybe tell about the three, <laughs> the three different uh, children. As, as I always tell my, uh, the people I'm demoing the game to, there are three types of um, children, as everyone knows. There are the beautiful daughters and the beautiful sons. But at that time, things went wrong yes. quite often as well. So there were complications at birth. So how I've, been, how I've incorporated this in the game is that um, a, a doctor comes to you and says, um, to you as the matriarch or the patriarch, you decide. And he says, well, I cannot say both. You yep. have to choose as either the child or the mother. And it's a difficult choice. Uh, so there's a little bit of luck involved there, but overall, uh, it's not too bad. And it only happens every once every generation. This is also why there's a limit of only uh, three children per couple. Mm -hmm. Because, of course, these, these people at that time had way more children than three. Yes. But many of them died in childbirth or within the first 10 years. Very, very normal. So if you have a complication, this is not having a complication. It's basically symbolic of having more complications than the other people. But once you have a complication, you can no longer have a complication in that generation. <laughs> yes. So even if you have three couples, none of them would have complications anymore, showing that you have um, slightly more complications than the others. But you're all having complications. It's just not worked into the game. Yeah. Because otherwise, you'd have people dying left and right. And it's not the kind of game that uh, this is. So how does a, a general round of, of gameplay go? All right, in the general round, so you've got a worker placement, you've got some extra action, but these are the uh, main action discs that you will have every round. There are nine ro rounds in total. Um, every generation, you can see that here. Every generation, the further you get, the more children you will have, the more options you have, therefore the more actions you have. Um, but every generation is 20 years. You have two actions and uh, so if I'd be the start player, I'd take an action and I'd immediately perform that action and then it'd be the next person's turn. And then I'd take my second action, uh, which could be mirroring, having children, as I said before, and, uh, building a mansion, getting a title, uh, contributing to the community. Right. Uh, hiring a fertility doctor. Ah. I, I sometimes tell my demo is it's like if, you, if a couple cannot have children, then they, um, well, it can never be the man, right? So he sends his wife to the fertility doctor and then she comes back pregnant. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> right. And, they, and of course, you pay a fee, but when people hear that you needed a fertility doctor, it's not very popular. So uh, your, your friends, they also work as, um, as, as, a, as a resource of a kind where you pay a certain card to get something done. And this is just, not at random, but you choose this from your hand. Great. Uh, how right. long will a game take typically? I'd say once you know the game, for three players, it's about an hour, four players, uh, an hour and a quarter, I'd say. Uh, but of course, the first, it takes a little longer. The first, the first time, time it, it, four new players, you, yeah, it can go up to two hours. OK. Yes. And yes. how many players can you be? Can you be as low as two? One to four. There's, I, I, maybe I should tell about the very exciting uh, solo player uh, okay. variants that we have. And you have one minute. One minute, very quickly. <laughs> um, the first solo uh, variant um, basically blocks some of the actions depending on the cards that are out. And uh, it, it allows you to play out the game as if you were playing against other players. So it really helps you uh, learn the game. So if you're playing in the evening with your friends, this would be a good way after reading the rules to figure out how the game plays out. And it's, a, it's a very fun variant. Sounds great. We have a different player variant. These are, these are the cards. It's not really all that important what's on them. Uh, but we have a, a special deck, a small deck, for this solo variant where you start out as uh, a person in the modern day and you uh, want to discover who your grandparents actually were, so who their great-grandparents. Right, very exciting. 
Yeah. Great idea. Yeah. So, well, thank you very much. All right. I'm looking well, forward to you. trying it out. And uh, that was Legacy from Portal Games. Thank yeah. you very much.